honestly besties i think this was my most rack girl day so far starting with last night's makeup chugging some coffee and some water because i'm hungover i know i always say that this is my busiest day ever but today is actually my busiest day ever um my friend is sleeping over with us tonight so i have to get my apartment in tip-top shape and it's really not my favorite thing cleaning fucking hungover this beautiful egg um, my boyfriend made me did bring some life back into me as he sits why do guys all sit like this when they're watching sports i don't know also did you see the mold that came off of that scrub daddy i clean that shit every couple weeks i know you guys think i'm fucking dirty but i'm not i just regularly live and clean in my house so i don't know what to tell you there will be mold the dumb old me made plans to pick something up off facebook marketplace so here we are on the go even though my skin is looking a lot better than how i'm feeling anyways i secured this cute little sheet off of facebook marketplace um my boyfriend had the burke 5000s on we see that there's shit on our car we're just off to a great start we go to the not just a regular ega and ega extra and uh, i got a salad but with a side of fried chicken so do with that information as you will we stopped for a little starbies on the way home but they kind of fucked up our order not gonna lie and then when i came home i don't know what to tell you i just kept folding kept cleaning oh and yeah jump scare i'm an eastern european girly so very important before i go out tonight to look hot i have to shave my mustache okay also you guys are always asking me for a hair tutorial or a makeup tutorial and the reason why i don't give them to you is just because it's fucking chaos but somehow i always pull my apartment together and me together look how cute i look so when my friend gets here we start having some pre-drinks we get ready go to the rooftop this was like the most wholesome moment of the day and then we headed downtown to pumpoy for some thai food for dinner it's so cute in here and they have such cute merch also so obviously i had to get some and then we just tried a bunch of things on the menu we tried a salad we tried their cider some curries and it was fucking phenomenal like i will be coming back here guys i also um snagged a cute little tote bag after dinner we're just heading downtown we're going to poincar this bar in chinatown i've never tried before but again it was so stunning and i actually recognized the bartender from another spot um anyways i got a beer the boys got some cocktails my beer was very frothy and of course we had tequila shots and then can you guys please look at this look at this fucking bathroom not only is it all black everything it has black toilet paper this was just like so on brand for me i was thrilled since i was feeling so nice and generous i bought my boyfriend a t-shirt and like how fucking cute it is and then after pre-drinks we headed over to m telus we're seeing give on tonight um i did not buy merch i know i had to stop myself but he was so good <laughs> the girls were loving it and then like every other night i had to go solo quest it out i lost a nail i am not gonna lie you guys because i feel like we're on facetime right now but i am so fucking shwasted she is so shwasted who did this i mean enough said we were all feeling very shwasty the concert was so good Gibeon was so good we took a bunch of pictures until security yelled at us and kicked us out i wanted montreal pool room the boys would not let me and then we ubered we i thought i was ubering home no we ubered to the bar right beside my house i'd never been here before there is nothing like a hole in the wall bar on a sunday night with two people in here and then i broke my glass so stein cleaned it up and then we decided fuck it, okay it's time to go home i am not gonna lie i do not remember any of these clips but i am just so proud that i made an attempt to take my makeup off but look that eyeliner is still on but then look it's gone so i don't know what happened i didn't make one or two packs i made six packs of ramen the boys played 2k and then i went to sleep i was not having it and then woke up feeling like i lived in a frat house